no carbs, no proteins, no micronutrients, nothing today. Uh, see, first of all, I need to lift it and then lift it up. <laughs> okay. The Pongal festival is celebrated. It's because to pray for the former success and then give respect to them and then make sure that you know they are successful in their journey for the year. Pongal is one of my favorite festival. Look at this. There's so much food. So much food. Guys, welcome to Valayapatti, my native village. I'm going to show you how we are going to celebrate Pongal here in my native village along with my beautiful wife over here and my older son Arjun and my younger son Adarwa. Happy Pongal to everybody. Tambi, what is it? Tudu, unna aga de. Tudu, unna aga. Puri. Ah, good job, Tambo. Yeah. Look beautiful, right, baby? What is it? Vogalo. Rangolia. Chef Vogalo. Call him, Solra. Call him. We start the day by going to the temple and I'll show you what it is. Wow. So look at this. After like you know, 12 years of marriage, it's the first time that we both are together in celebrating Pongal here in Native Village. So we're all excited. Celebrating festivals here in our native city is a privilege. And that is a privilege that most of us who are settled abroad have lost and we have paid the price for it. And uh, we have got the opportunity to uh, experience it this time. So today is a very traditional day and then we always start the day with a rangoli. See, it always depicts what is about the day. So we have this uh, pongal wishes written down there, sugar cane and then the pongal pot and with colors and decoration. This is how they decorate the parcel. So the entry point and then we go from there. So this, there's pongal inside? There's pongal inside. Inside? Inside, not here. How, how many carbs? I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. No, no carbs, no proteins, no micronutrients, nothing today. It's just about the festival <laughs> and the celebration. It's okay to do it once in a while. Uh, no, no, absolutely. So guys, it's a wonderful tradition where all our relatives, you know, join together and then look at this place. This is one of our traditional place where we join together, we pray, and then uh, it's all positive vibes, positive feelings, and it's just like pure sunlight, pure nature, and I'm going to show you all around as well. This is very classic. This is how most of our Chetinar houses looks like. Uh, this is not an actual house. This is actually a temple place where we actually, you know, as I said, you know, everybody will come join in together for, for praying. So banana leaves are ready for the lunch. Okay. And uh, I'm sure that they're not going to invite me. <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. Okay. So when there is like a smaller get together, maybe like 25 to 30 people, they cook over here. Okay. So I really wanted to show you this. This is called Ammi. See, first of all, I need to lift it and then lift it up. <laughs> okay. So the reason that people didn't have diabetes, high blood pressure and obesity in the past was they have to actually do the grinding by the hand with, you know, all the chutney, tovails and all this uh, side dishes that we use for dosa, idli and all the other dishes. They will do like this repeatedly. Should we lift it up, down? Rotate and then always they assume a squat position as well most of the times. All this increases their strength, increases their resistance and that is why people are very active. So people are arguing that you know ancestors were not doing this, why are you asking us to do this? Ancestors were doing this and we are not doing it and that is a problem. I'll tell you in another example. See look at this, this is a wet grinder okay this itself is an upgraded version of something called article even this is not available in modern places these days so we have automatic grinder so we don't have to do anything we just need to pour the flow yes convenience matters as well but this also had a advantage along with it where you literally have to keep on rotating look at the arm strength and the forearm strength that people will develop okay and the most important thing is even before this comes through so look at this oh. so we have this they put it over here like this and they again assume a squat position and keep on doing like this. I have actually seen this in two ways. One, when they cook and when they have to make, you know, raw ingredients and crushing and grinding into smaller particles. Second is when you go to a restaurant and you don't have money to pay, they will let you do this. <laughs> Priya used to do this every day at home. <laughs> She's very surprised. <laughs> 
நான் நல்லா பண்றனோ இல்லையோ ஆனா நீ நல்லா பண்ற சோ நோ நவ ஐ அம் திங்கிங் அபௌட் இம்போர்ட்டிங் திஸ் டு யுஎஸ் சோ யூ கேன் கிரைண்ட் ஃப்ரெஷ் பேட்டர் ஃபார் மீ எவ்ரி டே ஐ ஐ இம்ப்ரூவ் யுவர் மசில்ஸ் நோ 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 ஐ திங்க் இட் இஸ் பெட்டர் இட் சேஸ் சேஸ் யா யா யூ கேன் டு தி ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் கிரைண்டர் இட் will not be that expensive to import it though இல்ல இல்ல வேணாம் வேணாம் இந்த விளையாட்டு வேணாம் now the second thing i wanted to show you is so when there are like only like you know 20 30 people they'll make cook inside but when there are like 100 200 people they actually create this mud pits they have the logs of wood we call it as varaga kuchi varaga kuchi they erifying uh, i mean uh, burning <laughs> burning the log of wood so they're just not burning anything they're just creating creating fire, fire. Ah, so i mean yeah yeah you can understand what i'm trying to say so they're creating fire and then large amounts of quantities of food will be uh, produced so you'll be amazed like you know every hour there'll be like you know 300 400 people eating and then people are serving it is such a wonderful experience i thought pal looks good in suit or turtlenecks but after seeing him in this dhoti and shirt i think he looks smart what do you think guys what do you think pal <laughs> is it uh, is it hey <laughs> I am good in whatever I wear including our hospital gown. <laughs> so so I'll show you you know the most important part of this uh, vlog is this beautiful garden okay so we have preserved the space and we are a native village right so this fresh air this fresh amount of space clean air uh, clean air and the sunlight and so much peace out here no social media addiction that much over here at least for now but yeah. maybe next time when we, we come shooting video for that <laughs> <laughs> you can be addicted to my channel yeah. my videos is it's okay <laughs> but the key thing is i want to tell you we have this coconut tree tender coconuts we talked about it coconut water is amazing is beautiful and the, um, do you do you think you can go on top and get that coconut tree illa vena I'll buy you one. <laughs> I'll buy no, you. No, pal, you can squat. It's a lot of workout. No, I think it is okay. Coconut water is not that good. <laughs> so the key thing is, I want to tell you that the the Pongal festival is celebrated. It's because to pray for the former success and then give respect to them and then make sure that you know they are successful in their journey for the year. But the key thing I wanted to emphasize is, you know, farmers were very very physically active. and they are able to eat what much amount of complex carbs what much amount of simple carbs doesn't matter at all and that's why their diet was rich in carbs we could not translate that into what our lifestyle is i'll tell you an example so look at this this is a well okay so when was the last time that you saw a well water being used and if you come there so they have closed this uh, but there is water inside so when they need water what they do is they roll over the ropes over this pulley and then they have to take water by doing pull ups technically it's a pull up correct so tell me in the comment section when was the last time you did something like this to get one cup of water okay second thing i'll show you look at this so this is what is called the laundry place before the washer dryer what people used to do was they take actually the clothes rinse it in water soap and water and they literally beat the clothes on the laundry place and then when i was young uh, the dobi anna used to say that the more you scold the clothes and then put them on the stone and beat huh. them up huh. the more whiter they will turn enna na solran paarga kambi katra kadaiyala eluthu porranga i want to see the dobi anna uh, i don't <laughs> i want to see the dobi anna yaar yaavaru yenake avare paakna pole irukke so the point is that you know But i don't eat much though so i've reduced my quantity i'm compensating for the physical yeah, activity yeah you could do that if you can split your biryani into half and then not do this i think it is okay yeah being with you i've never had biryani and then being me being vegetarian really helps <laughs> So guys Pongal is one of my favorite festival look at this there's so much food so much food again as you guys know i follow the reverse banana leaf method this is the broad beans cauliflower jackfruit orange papaya pumpkin <laughs> orange pumpkin <laughs> and then this is plantain okay so and then this branch look at this so much fiber so i complete this 
I also take pongal, right? Sweet pongal. And uh, this is uh, ven pongal, which is, no, again, mixed with uh, brinjal samba. And you have this dal rice. I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite. But usually they pour ghee on it to a point that we don't know whether the rice is mixed with ghee or ghee is mixed with rice. So it's a big problem, okay? <laughs> So, um, this is what, uh, how I indulge on festival as well. Um, again, when you eat so much fiber, you are not that hungry. So, you will start eating a little bit of less rice, which means that you can taste everything and you don't feel like, you know, you are indulged actually. So, this is a method that I use. Doesn't necessarily have to be a generalized one, but you can try it out and then see whether it will work out for you.